The solubility product. The solubility product of Mg3PO42 is 1 times 10 to the negative 24. Calculate its solubility in grams per liter in A, pure water, and B, a 0.4 moles per liter solution of MgNO32. Part A. Let's start by writing the dissociation equation for Mg3PO42. In water, this solid dissociates into ions of magnesium and phosphate. Make sure to write the coefficients correctly. To know the solubility product, we need to calculate the number of moles of solid product that dissolved in solution. In other words, we need to determine the concentration of magnesium and phosphate ions in water at equilibrium. To do this, we will use an ice table. Initially, when we add the solid into the solution, we don't have any ions. Like liquid water, solids aren't part of the ice table or of the solubility product because they don't influence the aqueous concentrations of the solutes. A certain quantity of moles, X, will dissolve while the reaction moves towards the equilibrium. Looking at the molecular formula, for X moles of Mg3PO42 that dissolve, we obtain 3 times X moles of magnesium and 2 times X moles of phosphate. The coefficients give the ratio of the dissociated ions. To determine the value of X, we insert our concentrations into the equation for the solubility product. It works the same way as the equilibrium constant equation. Don't forget to put the coefficients of the ions as exponents. We insert the concentrations and the value of the solubility product. We solve for x. A common error is forgetting that the exponents multiply not only the variable x, but also the numbers. Now that we have x, we just need to calculate the solubility in grams per liter. To do this, we just need to multiply by the molar mass of the compound. The units of moles cancel out and we finish with our answer in grams per liter. The solubility with two significant digits is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 3 grams per liter. For part B, we will use another ice table and the molar mass. Again, a certain quantity of ions will dissolve into the solution. However, this time there are already 0.4 moles per liter of magnesium in the solution. The nitrate ions of MgNO32 have no influence on the solubility of our compound. We insert the values for the concentrations into the equation of the solubility product. In a solution that already contains magnesium ions, the Mg3PO42 won't be very soluble. The 3x quantity that was dissolved will be so small that it won't have any influence on the concentration of Mg2 plus already in solution. In this course, we use the rule of 5%. In solubility questions, this rule will always be respected and the approximation will always be valid. The value 3x is so minimal that it will not affect our final answer at only two significant digits. So to simplify, we can take it out. We solve for x. Then, we just need to calculate the solubility in grams per liter. To do this, we multiply by the molar mass, which we already calculated. The solubility at two significant digits is 5.2 times 10 to the negative 10 grams per liter. This answer makes sense because it is smaller than the solubility in pure water. Compounds are always more soluble in water than when there are already ions in solution.